In the process control world, there are many different types of outputs available. Analog signals provide a varying voltage or current signal and are the predominant inputs used in process control today. Of these analog outputs, the 4 to 20 milliamp loop is the most dominant standard used today. This video will explain the basic hookup of a loop-powered pressure transmitter. You need three things for your 4 to 20 milliamp loop. A power source, analog multimeter or way to read the milliamp signal, and of course, your transmitter. With the power supply off, attach the positive power side of the power supply, usually the red wire or lead, to the positive power or positive signal wire or pin of the transducer. This is usually the red wire on the transducer, or if you have a connector, it needs to be the positive power pin. Next, hook up the negative power or negative side of the power supply to the negative side of your multimeter, usually the black wire or lead. Now, hook the positive input side of the multimeter to the negative power or negative signal side of your transducer. This is usually a black wire or the negative power or negative signal pin. You have now completed the milliamp loop hookup. The milliamp signal runs from the power supply through the pressure transmitter back to the multimeter, then loops back through the return side of the power supply. The transmitter acts as a current limiter. The more pressure applied, the more current it allows to flow through the loop. If you have any more questions, contact our sales department at sales at gp50.com or call us at 716-773-9300. Thank you for watching.